And finally, we're going to do the uh, question from the Walker textbook, the free UP text, uh, on page 50, number 51. Um, the, the way this one goes, it says a rocket blasts off uh, and moves straight upward. That's a B there. I sort of cut that off when I was cutting and pasting it. Uh, moves straight upward from the launch pad with a, a constant acceleration. And after three seconds, the rocket is at a height of 77 meters. So the first part of the question is, is what are the magnitude and direction of the rocket's acceleration? And then part B says, what's the speed at that time? So uh, let's, again, the standard uh, protocol would be, let's look at the information that we're given. What can we then say about that information to get to where we want to get? Um, so we've got a delta T. It's three seconds. I've got a height. It reaches a height, so the, the distance that it travels displacement is, is an upward displacement um, and so that's going to be 77 meters. Uh, it moves straight up from the ground so we'll assume that it uh, starts from rest so v1 is 0 meters per second and we want to find uh, what the acceleration is. Uh, again always 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 we have to state the direction so we'll, we'll say that up uh, is positive so, uh, so we look at this, we've got, we want to find A, the acceleration. I have the displacement, I have the time, and I have V1, which is zero. So the best equation for me to use would be, uh, it would be equation number three. Um, so equation number three says the displacement equal to the initial velocity times the time uh, plus one half times the acceleration uh, multiplied by the time squared. Um, well, good thing is V1 is zero, so zero times anything, that drops out. And if I want to rearrange this equation, if I want to find the acceleration, I want to get rid of the one half delta t squared. So if I, if I want to if I'm multiplying by a half or dividing by two, then multiplying by two, we'll get rid of that. And then I want to divide, divide by delta t squared. So two over delta t squared. I uh, do the same thing over here uh, times two over delta t squared. And then simplify, simplify, and left with acceleration. So I can say that the acceleration then is two. It's twice the displacement divided by the square of the time. Plug and play. I've got 2 times 77 meters. Uh, and since up is positive, that 77 meters is positive. I want to divide that by the time squared, which is 3.0 seconds all squared. And if you look at my units, it might be in units or meters per sec squared. Create some space down here. So this should come out to 17.1 meters per second squared, uh, and then that's up. So this is our substitute. So we had to rearrange before we could substitute and solve. Finally, a paraphrase, therefore, the rocket's acceleration. Since it's positive, you know, this is awkward. Well, we've got the, um, we're trying to find V2, right? It's being asked of us, is, uh, what's V2? Well, we've just found the acceleration. We could do it. There's a number of things. Once we've got this, I've got, I, I could do it a, a couple ways. But the simplest way, I would think, uh, uh, to go from here would be uh, would use equation number two. Uh, equation number two says that uh, equation number two says that v2 is the, I take the initial velocity and multiply uh, or add the product of the acceleration and the time interval. Uh, since again, v1 is zero. That drops off. And it's just again a plug and play. Right? We've, we've just 
just found this acceleration. So it's something like one one or something like that. Uh, meters per second squared. Uh, we multiply that by the, uh, three seconds. And we should get Since that answer was positive, and it makes sense. It's, it's, it's sort of an average. Okay, uh, that's the uh, the homework done, or the, the practice questions. Now it's time for the homework. If you're a four C student, you will be working on. You're going to look at uh, page twenty-two. Try numbers four. Seven and eight, along with the other ones that you already I gave the other day, you should have gotten the other day. Uh, if you've got page twenty-five, if you look at sorry, not page twenty-five, page twenty-four. You know, try numbers eleven, twelve. And finally, page twenty-five. And try the number. Oh, oh the number nine. I'm try number twenty-five again. Just go with the ones that I passed. If you're a 3U1 student in either of the, the two periods, um, you're going to be working on pages 71 to 73, and you're going to look at uh, numbers uh, 35, 45, 47. Finally, if you're a three UP student, we're working from the Walker text. So this is the Irwin text. This is the Walker text. Oops. Over here. The Walker. Uh, you're going to be looking on pages. on these in class today and uh, continue on with them tonight. And again, I can't st uh, state enough how absolutely important um, practicing homework questions is. Do not skip this. Um, you'll thank me when you're done.